In this video, you will learn how to control electricity consumption in an indoor system. When the source of the electricity is finite, as for solar energy for example, it is important to install systems and instill simple habits that make it possible to reduce consumption. There are two types of approaches to saving energy, which we will describe. Type 1. Install low energy consumption systems. In areas that are poor in electricity, use the lights in one classroom rather than all classrooms in a school. Group the students that stay in the school in the evening into a single class to reduce installation costs and maintenance costs for the solar power generator. On new equipment, an energy consumption label will specify the energy consumption performance. Favor equipment that uses the least amount of energy possible. Energy consumption and efficiency is ranked with A for the most efficient and E for the least efficient. Type 2. Adopt habits that use less energy. Please note, do not add lamps and outlets to an existing solar installation. This additional consumption could damage the battery and render the system inoperative. Favor light bulbs that do not use a lot of energy. Today, LEDs use the least amount of energy of all bulbs and last longer than traditional incandescent bulbs. Turn lights off in rooms that are not being used. The appliances that use the most energy in the house are in the kitchen. The refrigerator is one of the biggest energy consumers. Do not leave the refrigerator door open any longer than you have to. For appliances like ovens, dishwashers and washing machines, limit their use and only run them when they are full. Appliances that are on standby continue to consume energy. Turn them off when you don't need them. Chargers that are plugged into outlets also function when they are not connected to a device. Don't forget to unplug them. You now know how to control electricity consumption in an indoor system.